1998, Hickory Hill was annexed by the city of Memphis. This caused a major demographic and economic shift in the population as people began to move out east. The thing that we have that we have on our hands here, as you well know, is, is that we have uh, somewhat of a cloud uh, in, in, in the city of Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, it's been cast in Hickory Hill over time uh, because of crime and the things that you have below. Notwithstanding, that's all over the city. The neighborhood hasn't seen easy times. In 2008, it was struck by a tornado with Hickory Ridge Mall taking the most hits. Any advances on the mall soon stopped as Sears and Macy's had to close. It reopened in 2010, but it has had a hard time since. You still have families live here, children growing up, business owners just trying to be successful. The same that you have, whether it be in any part of Memphis. So it's no different. The difference is, is that we don't have enough people that care enough to want to see Hickory Hill become a thriving part of the, of the city. While the mall hasn't yet recovered from its past, it does look to the future. That's where Good Shepherd Pharmacy comes in. Located inside of Hickory Ridge Mall, this nonprofit pharmacy cares for the uninsured and seniors in the Medicare donor hole. That if you're getting your insurance through the marketplace, you are getting hit with a huge deductible. Um, and so I'm talking $5,000 to $10,000 that you have to meet before you get the savings on your prescription drugs. Well, if you're chronically ill or you're taking medication daily, um, it kind of renders it useless. And we, we've been a really good um, place for those people to come where they just kind of throw their prescription coverage out the window and we take care of all their meds. Um, and that's really another thing that it makes us special is that we don't bill insurance at all. So far, the pharmacy has served more than 500 uninsured Memphians with roughly $775,000 worth of free prescriptions. It's everywhere from the 26-year-old that just got off their parents' insurance that doesn't know how they're going to pay for their $800 worth of medications all the way up to a 75, 80-year-old who's on Medicare Part D, um, but it doesn't cover them once they hit what's called the donut hole. Um, Members of Good Shepherd Pharmacy pay a low monthly fee, $40 a month for individuals and $70 a month for families. With that, they either receive their medications for free or at wholesale costs. Uh, basically, the donut hole is, okay, if you're 65 or older, the government expects you to pick up a Part D prescription drug plan. Um, and it's, it's, you pay a monthly premium, and then when you get your medications, you are responsible for 25% of the total retail cost of the medications until you hit what's called the donut hole. Um, which is around $3,000 or so. But once you hit that donut hole, it flips, and you're responsible for 80% of the retail cost of the medications. Good Shepherd Pharmacy is already changing lives as they aim to help as many people as they possibly can. Um, and so I see it every day, just that relief of, okay, whew, Good Shepherd's got me. <laughs> and while the pharmacy contributes to bringing people back to the mall, so does the chicken salad sandwich shop, Alex Farms. The mall has also taken four of the nicer retail rooms inside of it and turned them into event rooms so people can host wedding receptions or birthday parties. I think this turns out to be a great mall. I enjoy it. I enjoy coming in. And uh, even since they uh, reopened and walked, we kept a chance. She walked. I walked. Her husband comes. They have a lot of folks around here. People just enjoy it, getting the chance to do it. Mm -hmm. I wish there was more here. But, you know, we have to take what we have. And while the mall isn't what it once was in 1981 when it first opened, it doesn't want to go back in time. Looking towards the future, Hickory Ridge Mall wants to hear from entrepreneurs with the next best idea. They want people who want to help and make a change in the community. And while the mall still stands as a beacon of hope to the future of Hickory Hill, it also serves as a memory come of the past. Come out and understand who we really are. But come with a desire to want to help change happen. We don't need anybody else to come out with the a page of criticism. 